Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the mess behind me. I have no idea how I get this far behind. It's a mystery to me. So anyway, as you can see, I have got quite a bit behind me. You know, some of this I did film, but I can't find it. I don't know if I deleted it by mistake or forgot to hit the record button. So I'm going to have to do this stitch fix probably tonight. It came on Friday, so I'm going to have to get that done and try that on and see if there's anything I'm going to keep. I know there's a dress in there this time. And, you know, two years ago I was wearing dresses and I just don't. I'm wearing maxi dresses now because nobody knows that I'm not wearing pantyhose underneath. Yeah, so I'm wearing like knee highs with boots and things like that. But with a regular dress, I'd have to wear nylons and I really don't feel like doing it. But there's some nice sweaters in there that I actually picked out from my shop with looks. So I'm looking forward to trying them. I got my whiff box in from Scentsy, which is a little bit later than it's been. So I need to get that done just in case there's something in this um, October box that somebody else wants to order before uh, they go to the November box. I have got my, do I have my September and October yoga club? I've got my September and October Miss Ellie and an additional outfit that I bought. I have got more Ipsy bags than I can count between add-ons and the Glam Bag and the Glam Bag Plus. Um, one Glam Bag Plus that's got that uh, sticker on it from like last month. Yeah, so I finally figured out what I was missing. I actually had to email customer service and say, something's missing from a bag, but I don't remember what I bought. Can you tell me what I bought? So from there, we figured out what I was missing and the missing items are on the way to me. I've got a book club that I recorded, but I can't find it. And now I've got another book club in. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to record, what I'm not going to record. Some of them I might just try to do some something really, really, really quick. And um, some may not make it to be videoed at all. Oh, and I got a warmer back there too. I got a warmer that I was really, really excited to get from Scentsy. Um, I thought it would be perfect for my desk because I've got this one uh, blue wall in my office at work. And this one just looked like it would go perfect with it. And it came and it was uh, damaged. And then I kept forgetting to tell Raina that I needed to return it. So I finally said, Raina, I need to return that one. Can you help me out? So they got me a return label and I got the replacement in. I already opened it to check to make sure that it worked. And so I'm excited about sharing that with you. So, ah, so anyway, let's just dig in. I don't know what I'm going to grab first. You'll be the first to know. Alrighty, so I'm back. Can you tell from the background what's missing? What did I decide to do first? Did you guys guess right? But anyway, I grabbed the Scentsy Whip Box for October. Did anybody else guess that would be my first box? Yeah. So anyway, this is a really a fun box to me. I love getting my Scentsy Whip Box. I love Scentsy products. I love getting a little bit of a surprise every month. I love knowing that it's helping my Scentsy guru, my consultant, our daughter Raina. I know that it makes me feel good that I'm helping her small business. And so anyway, when you buy something from your Scentsy consultant, I hope you feel good too that you're helping her business grow. And every month they change this out every month. You're always going to get over around $30. It's cost $30 for the box and you usually get, you know, around $35 worth of value. And it's just because it's just a, a nice surprise. I get mine every month as part of my Scentsy Club. This month I didn't get too much of my Scentsy Club. Like I've got like, um, you know, I get the laundry detergents, things like that in there. Oh, I get some of my favorite wax bars. If you're part of the Scentsy Club and you know that um, one of the your favorite fragrances, the wax bars is going into retirement. Um, you can put that in your Scentsy Club and they will continue to make that as long as you have it in your club. Um, yeah, so I get laundry products. Um, I get the little, um, they have like um, cotton pads to clean out your your wax pots. Yeah, so I get some of those every now and then. I get the, the light bulbs that I need. This month, the only thing extra that I got, I got the scented, not the scented, the colored light bulbs so that it would kind of give kind of an ambiance to my uh, Halloween warmers. So anyway, let's get into it, right? It's always just such a fun box. And open it up. They all say scent with love. 
You usually get a flyer. I know some people said they didn't get one uh, last month and this month as well, but I'm pretty sure I got one last month. Alrighty, so in the front we got some sugar co cookies. Bake up, some fun. The back usually gives you some kind of hint about what's in the box. So it says, it's never a bad time for baking. So this month we're honoring this beloved pastime. Your October Whiff Box includes a variety of bakery-themed fragrances, plus an exclusive set of Scentsy Sta cookie cutters. So, of course, we had to include a cookie recipe to go with them. Don't forget to share. Or not, we won't tell. Alrighty, so, okay, so in the beginning, well, in the beginning, in the middle, we have a recipe for the cookies and the buttercream frosting. And on the other side, they've included some tags that you can cut out if you are nice enough to share. Make little gift cards with it. We got some Scentsy Air. And this is what the box looks like this month. Alrighty, so let's check this out, shall we? put it down gently because my microphone's over there. Sometimes I keep rustling papers in front of it. I decided to move it this time and have my paper over here, but I forgot about the box. Okay, so it looks like we got two full-size bars this month, and um, because they were going with the bakery theme, we didn't get the scent of the month, which was the fairy pumpkin tail, which was kind of weird because there was no pumpkin in it that I could smell last month. So we got cinnamon buttercream. And I don't think I've ever had this one. So if you are not familiar with the uh, Scentsy bars, these are just the standard bars. So there's eight little cubes in the back. They're kind of perforated, so you just have to break that one little bit right there. Let me see if I can dump this whole one out. Sometimes you can. So I can just kind of show you what it looks like in person. But I broke it, so I'm just not going to come up. So what I do is I just kind of bend it and twist it every which way. Just kind of break that perforation. And these bars, they're so nice. They have got so many different flavors. So because they're going with the uh, bakery theme this month, these are all going to be food scented bars this month in here. And again, you're just kind of bending it to break that little bit of perforation. The standard price on these is $6. Like the ones that are like the Disney themed ones, they have like a licensing fee. So they're a little bit more. And you just pick out the cube smells really nice. Put that in your warmer. Rena, Felicity, that's for you. Alrighty. And of course the, um, well let's tell you what it smells, smells like. So this one, again, it was a cinnamon buttercream. So it's um like a heavy, heavy buttercream frosting. You know, that kind that you do wedding cakes with and it's really stiff, but you can make it different so you can do flowers and things with it. But it's um got a cinnamon kind of smell to it. Also kind of I'm smelling cream cheese, maybe. I don't know. So it's so soft with cream cheese, uh, the buttercream frosting, and cinnamon, and probably sugar. But it smells really nice. It smells like this is when you melt this one. If you like the food scents, and kind of like a vanilla, like a vanilla buttercream too. So if you like the food scents, I think you're going to love this one. If you are not a fan of the bakery scents, you probably won't like it too much because it's going to make you hungry. Alrighty. And the other one is baked apple pie. And I know I've had this one before. And this one does, it just smelled just like you're baking a pie in the oven. So it's more, you get more of that apple, that tart apple, but you kind of get that sense of a flaky, buttery crust and cinnamon, lots of cinnamon. So this is heavy on the cinnamon and apple. So it's a really nice fall one as well. Alrighty, so next we have these cookie cutters. And I don't know if they sell these or if they just made them for this box, but a set of three star cookie cutters. So if you are into baking, these will be really fun to do. Or if you make different decorations for the tree too, that would be nice to do something that maybe in clay or something or cookies. So I don't think there's a value in that that I know about and uh, scent circle. I don't always open these 
because I like to keep them fresh. And of course, once you kind of break that seal there, you kind of lose the freshness every day. And I just put one in my towel warmer the other day, so I'm not going to open it. But I know that I've snipped um, the sugar cookie before, and it's just like the name. It's like you are baking sugar cookies in the oven. So just that kind of sweet, sugary, and vanilla -y smell. These, you can put them in a car. You can put them in a small closet. You can put them in a drawer. You can put them in like a school locker or a gym bag. I use mine, my towel warmer, and some I put in my car. I just love when I take my clothes, my towels out of the towel warmer after my shower to just kind of wrap myself in a nice, scentsy fragrance. And I think that has a value of three dollars. And uh, almond croissant. Oh my God! I got this last fall when it was a new scent. I love it. So this is a room spray. It is not as concentrated as it used to be, but you only really need like one or two squirts. If you do more than that, it does kind of leave a film on like a tile floor or probably you're gonna, it's probably on furniture or whatever too. But when I do it, I just kind of squirt it right up in the air, except when I'm doing it here and I'm showing you. But yeah, you don't really need that much. Yeah, but it's very concentrated. It's really good for like a quick odor. Say you're sitting with a, next to your puppy and your puppy's had a few pepperonis and then you know what I, what I mean? They have that little silent little noise that comes out the back end, covers it right away. So the almond croissant, I love this one too. So it's just got that almond flavor and like a buttery, that flaky croissant. It's just, it's really, really a nice fun fragrance. And I think this has a value of $8. And we have a fragrance flower again this month. So this is, um, it's like a oil diffuser. And it's got like a solar wood shaped in the shape of a flower. And so as you put your flower in, the oil absorbs up through the wick and gets into the solar wood. And, um, oh, they last, oh, you know, if I have mine in my bedroom, it probably lasts a good two months. Um, sometimes I take them into work when, as I was starting to have more guests again, they look, really look nice in the ladies room. Not that we have a lot of ladies that come in, but every now and then we do have some lady machinists that come in and some engineers. And um, in our ladies room, we've got a nice uh, little bureau type thing in there with supplies in there. And it's all mirrored. And so when you have this on top of it with a little flower, it just really looks nice. And I'm just kind of chit-chatting as I'm trying to open this to show you the flower. So here's the flower, and it's got the wick right there, and you'll take off this cap, and I'm not going to do it right now because this might be a giveaway. So you take off this cap, and it gives you a decorative cap that you would put on, so it would be a nice silver, and then the flower, and it's really, really nice. I mean, if you put this in, say, like if I put this in my great room that's got like the foyer, the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room, um, you're only going to smell it if you're right next to it. In the bedroom, in this bedroom, if I have it over next to my bed, I can smell it as soon as I walk in the room. The ladies' room is perfect. It's like the perfect size. So the scent on this one is, if I can read it, upside down it is vanilla bean buttercup so this I've had before in wax bars and it's and it's again it's kind of close to that cinnamon one that we had early but there's no cinnamon in this so it's just going to be the strong vanilla and like a buttercream frosting but it is really nice especially you know in the vanilla sense it's a really nice because it's not very florally. Most people don't have a problem with vanilla. So in a general area, if you're not sure what people like, vanilla is usually a pretty, pretty safe scent. And our last item in here is the scent of the month for next month. So this is this is my favorite part too because you get like a pre pre sniff of um, what's coming next month and and I have seen somebody do the warmer of the next warmer of the month next month and it's the cutest snowman ever I might have to get it just saying okay so this is called icicles in evergreen it's a nice green color and this uh, is like between two and three of these individual tubes so it's a really good size sample you can put it all in one warmer if you want you can split it up and put it in two or three or you can just do one 
cut it up into threes and use it one at a time in the same warmer just to kind of make that scent last a little bit longer. Yeah, so it's really fun. And I'm assuming, well, of course, the name here too, that it's going to be like a Christmassy, wintry scent. You know, sometimes these are put on really, really good. And it really Alrighty, I'm back. This just wasn't, wasn't glued down. It was super glued down. I swear. But anyway, I only did this much and I can smell it from here. It just, it's a really nice, strong scent. I like strong scents. So you obviously with the pine, you got like a nice sprucey pine, like maybe rich with sap. So you just got that really, really nice Christmas tree scent. But there's something else in there. Kind of like, um, it's cooling, like eucalyptus. Like you, I think eucalyptus. It may be something sweeter, but I can't quite tell what it is. But there's something refreshing, like mint, but it's not mint, but it's eucalyptus and it's pine and something on the sweeter side, but I don't know what that is yet. But, but I think this is going to be really nice in the great room. Once I have my tree up, I might have to put it up right away. Once if I, if I do this early, my tree's going up. I probably have to have someone come and change my, um, battery because yeah I'm, I'm not getting it done by myself and I don't want them to come in and see my Christmas tree so maybe maybe later but okay yeah I'm gonna love this so the scent of the month so this is going to be available say if I get the warmer next month and I can get this it's gonna be like 10% off for the month so I really like that so right now there's not really a value on this so inside my box I got all these little purple foozies that you can do something with I don't know but so I got my sample for next month we got the Scentsy flower I think that's like a $16 value right there we got the Scentsy room spray that's like an $8 value we got the Scentsy cookie cutters and the star shape just really a fun item we got two of the Scentsy wax bars in the cinnamon buttercream and the baked apple pie we got the scent circle for using in the, my towel warmer or if I put it in my car or maybe in one of my bureau drawers and we got this little pamphlet that has the recipe and the little gift tags so anyway all that for thirty dollars and it was just a really nice fun surprise I just love getting Scentsy products every month and just trying some new fragrances getting some favorites and, um, and I love sharing it with you. And I love knowing that I'm helping support our daughter Raina's small business. So anyway, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Let me know if you got your Scentsy box this month, if you got yours earlier than I got mine. And um, yeah, and what are your favorite fall and now going into the uh, Christmas season? What are your scents? It seems funny to be talking about the Christmas season when we haven't had Halloween yet. But, you know, it's, it's coming. It's coming so yeah so thanks everyone for joining me you guys are amazing i appreciate you guys so much and i just uh, want to take a, a minute just to thank you guys again for your support i hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet i hope that you would click on that little red subscribe button right there and yeah so we'll be chatting again soon because yeah i got boxes i got boxes and bags yeah so i'll be seeing you guys in a few minutes